Once you've created a chart with Excel or EasyChart or the QI macros, you may want to change the format of that chart. And so all you have to do, whether it's an embedded chart or a chart sheet, is just click on the chart. And if you look up here, you'll notice that once you do that, it adds in a whole new menu for chart tools. The first one over here is design. So we would just want to change the color on the, on the lines there. We could click through these various options and actually change the color. If we wanted to change the chart a little bit, we could do that as well. All right, so we could click in here and change the various chart sizes, styles, and whatever. Uh, if we wanted to change the chart type a little bit, maybe I want uh, something with dots on it, or maybe I want it to be something that's a three-dimensional chart. All I have to do is click on Change Chart Type and choose the type of chart I want. Right, so we can, we can go through here and change this to our heart's content. Right. Now, we may want to change some other things about the layout. So maybe I want to add a chart title. So I want to center the chart over the top. So I click on um, the layout and I click on chart title and I'll add our chart title. On the axis title, I may say I want to add a title below the axis. And I may also want to add a uh, vertical title. And I want that one rotated. And then I can take these and, and change those titles uh, completely. So I can just type in whatever I want here. And I could squeeze that down and go uh, uh, mistakes. And down here I could go add the, the year. If I want to, I could get rid of my legend because it's kind of unnecessary there. Or I could have done that up here. Uh, you can add data labels so you can turn put labels on all of our points up here. Uh, we could have that off to the left or off to the right, or no data labels at all. If you want to show the data table, you can show the data table underneath here, or you can turn that off as well. I've chosen to turn off all the grid lines because I consider them to be chart junk, but if you want them back on there, you can turn them on as well. And so those are some of the things you can do in here. You can do things like add a trend line. So I might say I want a linear trend line running through my data. And that doesn't always tell you a lot, but that might be something useful to do. And you'll see the actual name of the chart on an embedded sheet sitting over here. So this is called chart one. Some other things we might want to do in here is add a shape in here. So I, if I wanted to, I could go grab um, an oddball shape and put a little comment bar in here. And once I get my shape in here, I get the shape menu. So I might want to change that out. And in here I could put, uh, this is a time series plot. So I could add a little note on there and I could also, if I right click on that, I can center that information. You can right click on just about anything here and get to the same sort of things that you can do. So if you wanted to change the chart type, you know, let's say we want to go back to a plain plot, then we can do that. So there's a lot of ways to go about changing things in the chart. And you can change the format and you can move it forward or backward or align it or all these different kinds of things we can do. And if you click on format selection, it'll let you change that. Or if you double click on one of these axes, uh, you can change the format of that as well. So I might want to change it to a number with two decimal points. And you can see it's done that over here. Or maybe it's currency. Um, so we can change the, the number style around on the axis. We could change the formatting of the lower axis. You know, maybe we want to make that uh, bold or something like that. All of these things can be done easily just by clicking on the various pieces in here and working your way through the various chart tools. And the QI Macros and Easy Chart also add some other tools on here to add data to charts, target lines, and text to a point. So those are some additional options for Easy Chart and QI Macros. But those are all of your chart tools, and that's how easy it can be to choose 
how this entire chart will look and how you want to show it to other people.